Hey YouTube, it's Gulper Nopper, and today I have another camera collection video for you. Today it is going to be the Polaroid 440 automatic land camera. So I got this beautiful uh, Italian made leather case with it, and this was all $18 at an antique mall. I actually had this in my camera haul video. The clasp just pops up like that. Now I'll move this case out of the way. Hang on, first I'll let you see. Here's the inside of the case. It's very nice. And here's the camera, the Polaroid 440 automatic line of camera. I'll get this case out of the way. So it says right here, lift. So you lift this up and then fold it down. And then here's your camera. So then what you do is this spring right here, push it up and then take this off. And then here's the camera. So this flips up. And then see there's a little arrow here. So that means you push this up. Actually, the lens hood pops out. So then you pull this out, and then it clicks into place. And then there's your camera. So let's get it down into it. OK, so on the top, here's your clipping slot for the Polaroid focused flash. Here's your shutter button, and this is actually like a focus indicator guide. This is infinity, and this is your range of flash. Right here is your shutter cocking lever. And then on the front here, this is your electric eye. Down here is the scene selector, and also it corresponds with this on top. And then this is your film speed selector. It has 75, uh, 150, uh, three, 300 and 3000 and then it goes right back to 75 and then around the lens here is your light and dark and control and then that's it so to close the camera you actually press down on this little bar here and then it goes right in and then the front finder folds down and I'll go over how to put the case back on it in just a second. So, to operate the camera, first what you need to do is this uses the idiot proof Polaroid 1234 system. The one buttons are on the side of these, and what happens is you look through this rangefinder here, and then you push these left and right to focus, and you'll see the camera actually goes in and out. This thing's in just excellent condition. Next, you would actually press number two, which is the shutter button. Then number three is right here. This is the shutter cocking lever, just like that. And then number four is actually pull your tabs. So there would be a small white tab sticking out of this slot. You'd pull out that small white tab, then a large yellow tab would appear in this slot, and then you'd pull that out, and that would be your picture. And after the allotted time, then you would peel it apart, and then that would be your picture. So the scene selector basically just goes like back and forth here. And then if I look on top of the camera, you see where it's highlighted yellow. It reads uh, 75, 150, and 300 speed, bright sun or a dull day, also flash, and 3000 speed only indoors without flash. If I switch the scene selector, the yellow comes up to here, and it is outdoors or flash, and bright sun only. Back to that. And then if you actually look into the lens, you can kind of see the aperture... Hang on, it works better if I... Okay, so... You can see it get a bit smaller there. Then on the bottom of the camera right here, this releases the film door lock. Oops, it's caught around my tripod. Sorry about that. On the back, we have the timer that's on some forward models. And back here's your battery compartment. This one's actually super clean. I'm feeling really good about this. I'll show you the battery in just a second. So to load the film, what you would do is you'd pop this and then just open the back door. And here's an old pack of film. So to load it up, you would insert it in here and then click it into place. Then close the camera and then pull out your film later. So let's open this baby up again. To actually clean the rollers, you pull up on this red tab, and then you can fold the rollers down to 
clean them. Mine are nice and smooth and they work well. So and then we get to the subject of this timer. It's super annoying. You set it to however many seconds you want and then you press start and then it does this. So five seconds. Then when it stops, you know to take your film apart. Alright, so let's get into the subject of what this is for. This is for the Polaroid Focused Flash. And you probably saw the little top of the flash cube when it was in there. Here it is. This is the Polaroid Focused Flash. As you can see, it has the mounting bracket and a light and darken control. Also this special cord. Now what this does is it clips right onto the top of your camera. And then this plugs into the side here. Then what you need to use this is a high power GE flash cube. It actually has a spent bulb on this one. This is what flash bulbs look like when they're used. They get all dirty on the inside and it actually melts the glass. It gets so hot. So then take your cube and you pop it right in there and then this advances the cube and then when it gets to four it stops so you have to take it out now actually what I would do is if I were actually using this I would put the used bulb in facing out and then advance it once so that when I go one two three oh it's the used bulb so on to the why it's called the Polaroid focused flash now how this works is when you're focusing when these get pushed back and forth look at the flash these louvers go up and down and that's why it's called the focus flash also the light and darken control because this light and darken control actually doesn't work when the flash is plugged in. So that's it for the focused flash. And the cover. I got the how to use your Polaroid land camera model 450 or 440. And I'll just take that out. And then see here's your user's manual. That's that. And I also got this Polaroid cold clip. And I actually need to retape this. But how it will work is in cold temperatures, under uh, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, you'd warm this under a jacket sleeve for like three minutes. And then 10 seconds after pulling the tab, you would have to. Oops, there goes the second metal sheet you would have to open up the cold clip and put your photo in there and close it and then put it under your sleeve for one minute while it, the picture develops otherwise it'll be all muddy and gray looking and actually just for convenience I put these in here some copy order envelopes and I actually just put a print out in here just because and I got, actually got a lot of these I'll show you this entire stack of them. And what these are is they are print mounts. So how this works is you take these and you peel off this brown paper card in front of them and this is really sturdy paper. It's like cardstock. Except there's uh, about four of them in here. See? This actually just snaps right off. But you'd peel these pieces of brown paper on there and then stick your print on there. So it's got a nice mount on the back. And that's what that's for. Now, onto the battery. These cameras use EverReady 4.5 or 3.0 volt batteries, and this one actually had a Mallory uh, alkaline battery. This is the 3.5 volt version, and this is the PX24. 3 volt. Now if we open up the back of the camera, you'll see these clips only go in its corresponding thing. So, actually, you have to take this end, clip it in there, and you'll feel it snap. It's a bit um, sticky, and this one just pops in there, and then this actually just clips right in there. 
nice and convenient. So for some reason, sometimes the timer goes off. That's about it. Here, I'll close up the camera again. And then actually, when you're done, here, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the cover real quick so I don't forget to do it later. So then you take this little foldy thing and then the spring and this just snaps right in and this folds up and over the top and then clips on by a magnet and that's it. And actually reorganizing the case I just take this and I set it right in front of all the other stuff and then I close it up again using this and then that's it thank you all for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time